Okay, so grade 11s, welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at how to protect worksheets inside of a um, Excel spreadsheet. So here at the bottom, you can see I have sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three, and there's nothing on these other sheets. You can also see I can go in here, I can go and type whatever I want to. In sheet two, in sheet three, I can do exactly the same. All right? However, if I right click on sheet two, there's a tab or there's an option on the tab there that says protect sheet. So when I click on this, it brings up a dialog box that asks me for a password. And it also says to me, protect the worksheet and contents of locked cells. And then it says further, allow all users of this worksheet to do what? To select unlocked cells, to format cells, to format columns. If I don't tick it, they won't be able to do these things. So I'm just going to pop in a password. Let's just make it John. Click OK. It's going to ask me to enter it again. And now... You can see I can still go to the sheet and I can still have a look at it. But on sheet three, I can enter info. On sheet two, you see that? Every time I try and type something, the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. So if I right click on it and I go unprotect sheet, I'll have to pop in the password. Click OK. And now it will allow me to do whatever I need to. So using this feature, you could actually pop in a password onto a particular sheet and allow users to only do certain things on that sheet. So let's say on that sheet, you only want users to insert some data. Then you can say, you know, what they are allowed to do or not allowed to do. So this is how we can protect our individual worksheets, which are part of our Excel spreadsheet file.